Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So you guys have already seen my Snap-on Toolbox tour video. Now I'm going to show you guys a tour of my Husky Toolbox that's behind me. So let's go ahead and begin. I'll show you guys what's in there. And before I do, uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. It'll definitely help the channel grow and it'll keep my videos on your newsfeed if you guys are interested in seeing them and liking the content. So with that said, uh, let's go ahead and begin. All right, guys, so to begin off with this toolbox, it does have a work table and a tier up here. Now, I have a, uh, another uh, tool set here. This has a bunch of sockets. It's my Craftsman set. I will be making a separate video on this, but primarily up here, I just carry, you know, like some chemicals, some magnetic trays. Up here, I have a whole bunch of different items like tape, you know, whatever I commonly use and need the most, I just kind of have up here. That just to kind of show you guys a tour of uh, the backdrop on it. Now this does have a pegboard back here, however I don't use it as a pegboard, I just use my magnetic trays on there and uh, that's what's on the outside of it. Now this toolbox in particular has a few different drawers. Now we have our main big drawer here, we have our middle row, our uh, third row, and then we just have this huge compartment over here. Uh, let's go ahead and begin and show you guys what's inside this toolbox. Now starting off at the very top, this is my diagnostics drawer. This is where I have all of my scanners, anything that requires me to do diagnosis. This was uh, pretty much a primary stop. I got my Snap-on scanner, my Autel, a couple uh, battery testers here and over here and a whole bunch of other testing equipment that I use for diagnostics. Um, that's what's inside that drawer. Now this drawer in particular here, we just have a bunch of commonly used pliers and vice grips. Uh, this is my go-to. Um, whatever I use every day is basically in here. Uh, although I don't use my vice grips that often, primarily this side is what I use the most. And our other drawer here, we have a little bit of mix mash here. I have some wrenches, some sockets, and things of that nature. Primarily what's used in here is these wrenches and this set and especially these impact sockets. These are my little stubby impact sockets. They can go into a lot of places where it's hard to reach. Um, I'll definitely be making a video on those uh, coming up later uh, on the channel here. And if we move down to our next drawer, now this is my absolute best drawer. I use this drawer every day uh, and also the one that I'm going to show you after this one. Now I have a Sunex 3.8 impact rated set. This has everything you can use uh, on your daily uh, you know, usage chart, I guess you can say. So this is my primary set that I use for anything 3.8. It's impact resistance and they pretty much give you all the sizes, uh, whether you want it in metric or standard. I will be making a separate video on this at some point. Um, I also have a couple screwdrivers that I use, a couple ratchets and a few other little odds and ends back here. Um, this is just like my extra storage back here with the magnets. Now this other drawer that I'm going to show you guys is also used very, very commonly every day by me. This has my Sonix Impact Master Set. This set comes from a 14 millimeter all the way to a 36, so it kind of eliminates me going back and forth for an axle uh, socket or anything. It's all in one. And I have my everyday hammers here in this drawer. This is what I mainly use. And if you go down here, now this is going to be the odds and ends drawers. Uh, I just throw whatever I can in here. I got some mixing sticks for, you know, epoxies, some blue tape. Uh, things like that, you know, you can see just a little bit of a mix of everything here I just tend to throw whatever I don't use as often or for storage Now on this side here. We have another drawer that kind of has a variety. I got my electric ratchets I got my uh, Subaru ball joint puller a couple gas tank lock ring removers my inner tie rod tool I have my famous set of uh, half size impact sockets for lug nuts uh, this was uh, very popular in my Chevy video, how to remove lug nuts that are frozen on. And then I also have a few other odds and ends here, uh, little bolts and things that I use commonly. Now in this drawer, I consider this to be my oil change drawer. Uh, what I have here are just my little oil sockets, filter wrenches. I have this rethread set that saves the day whenever you have a Honda oil pan that's aluminum that's stripped out. This will rethread them and you know put in new uh, sockets or new plugs like this, I should say. So very useful drawer for me, use it on the daily. Down here are just uh, more diagnostic tools. I have things like spark plug testers, my meters, another battery tester, um, uh, light testers and things like that. I use these every now and then, but not every so often. So I just kind of pack them in here. So when I need them, I have them. 
Now the last drawer in here is going to be uh, my painting drawer. Although I'm not a painter and I'm not a body shop, uh, I do have leg restorations. So I have sandpaper, I have my foam pads, my you know polishing tools and everything else that's in here. Um, that's what this drawer consists of. It's not a whole lot of uh, goodness in there. Just things for polishing up headlights. And I will have a video on how to polish your headlights soon here. Now this big ball drawer, I just kind of use it exactly for that. What I do is uh, I just put my paper towels, some extra long funnels that I haven't used yet that are new, and a few odds and ends down here. You guys can see I have some uh, dye colorant, I have some razor blades and things like that. I could be utilizing this space so much better, um, and I could you know, actually have more room inside this toolbox. But this box is mainly configured for everyday use. Now a lot of you may uh, frown upon this, and uh, this is the reason why I have this toolbox. When I bought my Snap-on, it was very expensive, and I didn't want to ding it or put scratches on it or daily use it too hard. I don't know why, that's just kind of how it was. So I babied this toolbox for years, and when I came to this place, I bought this Husky as my everyday box. I don't care if I basically, you know, scratch it or hit it or do anything to it. I grabbed these drawer handles with grease with, you know, brake fluid on my hand. So it's my quick everyday box. I primarily have all the tools that I use on a daily inside of this, so I don't have to damage my snap-on, although, you know, it's kind of a stupid way to go about things, but, you know, I have it. And the biggest reason why I even have it, it wasn't just for that, it's also because I needed a bench top, and this offers a really nice bench top for me to do my work on there. So it's also a plus that it's a toolbox. Uh, but 99% of the time I'm working out of this box, I'll go to my snap-on if I need something more specialty, but everything that i need usually is right here guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, this box is a very good box to have um, it does the job i've had it for years and it hasn't broken down or anything so if you guys are starting off um, you know this is something to look at you don't have to go get the fancy option starting off with something like this even if you've been in it for a few years this box is more than capable guys um, it does the job and it's affordable so Please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely helps the channel grow. With that said, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next video. And until then, hope you guys have a wonderful day.